Good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, so I'm Liam. I'm a PhD candidate with NCRED and NDARC, and I also work at St. Vincent's Drug and Alcohol Service. And today I'm going to be presenting uh, the protocol for an open label trial that we're going to be conducting very soon, looking at uh, combination therapy of naltrexone and bupropion uh, for the treatment of methamphetamine use disorder. Um, I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land. The work presented here was and will be conducted on unceded Gadigal land, and I would like to pay my respects to elders past, present, and extend that to any Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who are here today. Um, NCRED is funded by the Australian Government Department of Health and Aged Care, um, but no investigators have any relevant conflicts. Um, so we all know that methamphetamine use disorder is a global issue and there are no currently approved pharmacological treatment options for methamphetamine use disorder in any jurisdiction. That being said, a recent trial that I'm sure most of us in the room are aware of uh, that came out of the United States did actually find that a combination of an antidepressant called bupropion and an opioid antagonist naltrexone was actually effective in reducing methamphetamine use um, in people who have methamphetamine use disorder over a 12-week period. Now, why are we looking at these medications? Well, bupropion is it's not just an antidepressant. It also has stimulant-like activities and it acts on the noradrenaline and dopamine system and the logic behind it is that it could ameliorate dysphoria that is associated with withdrawal. Now, naltrexone, on the other hand, is an opioid receptor antagonist, which most of us know from its use in the treatment of opiate use disorder. However, it is also used for um, preventing return to problematic alcohol use. And we think this is through attenuating some of the reinforcing effects of the substances or the craving. Now, both of these medications were assessed independently with limited success. Um, and we know that there are struggles to show efficacy with monotherapies. So addressing this as a combination therapy was the next logical step in the journey to finding an effective treatment. However, there is an issue. Um, and that issue is down to geography. So injectable naltrexone and sustained release bupropion are not available in Australia, meaning that the results of the study are not actually immediately translatable to an Australian context. That being said, we do have access to other formulations of these medications, one of which is a combined twice daily naltrexone bupropion tablet um, and that's currently indicated for chronic obesity in Australia, so it is available and ready to use. So why are we doing this? Well, we know that there's no pharmacotherapy for methamphetamine use disorder. So what we're going to do is we're trying to repurpose an already approved and available medication for another use. Now, it is imperative to assess the feasibility and safety of this oral combined naltrexone bupropion and this is because, although it's been done with the IM and sustained release version, there are actually likely pharmacokinetic differences in their administration, um, especially around the naltrexone, where intramuscular can lead to higher systemic naltrexone exposure, as well as lower exposure to the primary metabolite. Now, these differences may or may not lead to different clinical outcomes, um, and really importantly, this supports the viability of locally available formulations, which will improve the generalizability of the studies that were found by Trevetti in his paper. Now, for this study, we're going to be looking at people with methamphetamine use disorder who are on the higher, the more severe end, so using out at least 14 days of the last 28. And really importantly, people for this study have to be opioid free for seven days prior to the first dose. And this is because we are giving them an opioid antagonist and this could precipitate opioid withdrawal. They have to have a positive urine drug screen for amphetamines and negative for opioids and the ability and capability to use a smartphone app and store medication safely. Now that being said, we will be providing smartphones to people who do not have access um, but it is important that they can use it to track medication adherence. 
Um, we will be excluding any participants who have a risk of seizure, who have dependence on alcohol, GHB, benzodiazepines or opiates, and also importantly, have an expected need of opiates in the near future. So this could be, for example, for a planned surgery. And again, this is because of the naltrexone. Uh, the intervention is a combination naltrexone bupropion, and it's available in tablets. Those tablets are currently sold with eight milligrams of naltrexone and 90 milligrams of bupropion. Uh, we have to up the dose for this study, um, and we're going to taper up from an initial dose of one tablet, so eight 90 milligrams, to five tablets. So that's 40 milligrams of naltrexone and 450 milligrams of bupropion daily, and that's divided into three tablets in the morning and two tablets in the afternoon. Um, the primary outcomes of this study are safety and feasibility, and we're really interested in adverse events and also how long it takes to recruit the sample, the proportion of ineligible people, and how many people actually complete the treatment. We're also including secondary outcomes, looking at general efficacy signals, so methamphetamine and other drug use, as well as psychological well-being and quality of life, as well as the overall acceptability of the intervention. Do people actually like it and will they continue to take it in the future? The trial is an open-label, single-arm pilot clinical trial. Um, and for this stage, we're just going to conduct it in a single site at a specialist treatment, uh, stimulant treatment service, and that's at St. Vincent's in Sydney. And we're looking at recruiting 20 participants for this study. It starts off with a one-week induction period and then a 12-week maintenance period. We then taper down over five days and then follow them up for three weeks post their final um, medication dose. Uh, so in conclusion, we feel this pilot study will help to assess the safety and feasibility of this orally administrated formulation of naltrexone and bupion for methamphetamine use disorder. Um, we're delivering it in an outpatient setting, and we think that it's potentially it could provide the basis to inform a larger randomized control trial to determine the efficacy of this intervention. Thank you. Questions? Thanks, Liam. Um, it might not be an answerable question, but can can we go to the TGA and ask them to allow us to import Vivitrol, an extended release bupropion? That, that's a great question. I have no idea. <laughs> We tried to get it from them before and they wouldn't give it to us. Thank you. Thank you.